Ashok Gehlot has been ruled out as Congress president after a rebellion by more than 90 Rajasthan MLAs loyal to him upset the Gandhi. Sources said the Congress leadership is unhappy with Ashok Gehlot for plotting the rebellion that has embarrassed the party in the middle of Rahul Gandhi's Bharat Jodo Yatra. Days after multi-agency raids on top leaders and functionaries of Islamic outfit Popular Front of India leading to over 100 arrests, a second round of nationwide crackdown on the organization is underway. Investigative agencies are conducting operations across Maharashtra, Karnataka, Assam, Uttar Pradesh and Delhi. The death of a 15-year-old Dalit boy who was allegedly beaten by a teacher from his school in Uttar Pradesh's Oraya district has sparked massive protests. The boy was allegedly thrashed by his school teacher Ashwini Singh, reportedly from an upper caste on September 7th just because he had made a spelling error in a social science test. The boy, Nikit Dore, died on Saturday night while being taken to a government hospital in a neighbouring district and his body was handed over to his family last evening after a post-mortem. Heavy rain inundated parts of Hyderabad last evening, causing massive traffic jams accompanied by lightning and thunderstorms. The sudden spell of rain resulted in water logging in the low-lying areas of the city, while Sikandrabad was largely spared. A yellow alert has been issued for the next four days and the sky is predicted to remain overcast for the day. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday met his Japanese counterpart Fumio Kishida here and conveyed his deepest condolences over the sudden demise of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe as he underlined the late Japanese leader's contributions in strengthening the bilateral partnership as well as his vision of a free, open and inclusive Indo-Pacific region.